Well, have you ever looked around your bedroom or your closet and thought, I have all of these clothes and yet I still have nothing to wear. I think that's happened to all of us at one point or another. And so today I wanna to share with you my winter wardrobe, answer some questions that come up frequently about clothes, and also talk about how we can simplify in a way that we always have things to wear that we feel good in, but also so that it's really simple to maintain so you don't always feel like there's clothes everywhere all of the time. Well, hi, I'm Dawn from The Minimal Mom, and we love sharing tips and tricks about how you can simplify your house quickly. And during this whole entire month of January, we are decluttering. So every Tuesday and Thursday, we are talking about decluttering. So be sure to subscribe so that you're notified when new videos are released. And I love this comment the other day from a friend who said, well, I can very easily tell you the clothes that I wear and don't wear because the ones I wear are all over my bedroom floor and the ones I don't wear are hanging in the closet. <laughs> and I think most of us can relate to that. And so I wanna share with you my winter wardrobe today by request, but also talk about kind of the strategy behind my wardrobe that has made it really easy to maintain, but also so that I always feel like I have something to wear. And so when I first started out simplifying, I started thinking about how do I want my wardrobe to function? And I think that's the first step that most of us need to take. When I open my closet doors in the morning, how do I want to feel? And for me, I wanted my wardrobe to be highly simplified so that when I looked at it in the morning, I knew that every single thing hanging in my closet or in my dresser drawers, that it was all something that I could grab out, put on, and feel good in. In other words, I wouldn't be adjusting it throughout the day. I wouldn't have to suck in to wear it. I mean, we do these things, right? It would fit any occasion that I would come across for the day. And so basically, I wouldn't be self-conscious in it. So that's what I wanted. I wanted clothes in my closet, in my dresser, that I could just wear any day and feel good about myself. And I know I've been there where I've let all these clothes accumulate because we think if we have a lot of clothes that a lot of clothes equals options and that's not the truth because we know that right and so we have to kind of change our mindset that a lot of clothes does not equal options what equals options is only having stuff in our closet that fits and that we feel good wearing and i know for many of us especially for us women our weight can fluctuate or we're hoping to lose weight, right? And so we often hesitate to buy a wardrobe at our current size because we really wanna lose weight or we don't wanna admit that this is the size we are or any number of reasons. And so my encouragement to you would be to whatever size or shape you are right now, to make sure you have at least a few outfits that you feel good in. And if there are items in your closet that don't currently fit, but you are hopeful that you're gonna fit into them, let's pack those away, let's store them somewhere else. Again, so that when we go to our closet in the morning, we can feel good just seeing the options that we have, the, like the actual options we have <laughs> that fit right now and not all of the clutter of all of the other stuff because that's really stressful. So why don't I show you kind of what my wardrobe consists of right now. So in one of my other videos about simplifying clothes, I talk about how to determine how many of each outfit that you need based on the different roles that you play. So I'm not gonna reiterate all of that today, but I will link to it down below. But for me, I only need a handful of dressy outfits that I could either wear for like a real estate appointment or to church or just stuff if I was going out with friends or out on a date with Tom. So really on any given week, I would wear three, maybe four dressy outfits. So I only try to keep five to seven dressy tops in my wardrobe. And I also have three pairs of jeans. Two are dark wash, so I wear those for dressier occasions. And then I also have a pair of black leggings. So those are, like I said, my dressier outfits. And then beyond that, most of the other stuff, I mean the bulk of this of what I wear throughout the week is my work at home clothes, running the kids around, that kind of stuff. And so I've talked about this before, but I've tried to make those clothes a little bit nicer. So if I would have to stop at the office, I would feel totally fine having people see me in those clothes as well. So I've tried to keep those a little bit nicer and, and not quite so casual as I would have in the past, like printed hooded sweatshirts and things like that. 
And so for those more like casual work at home clothes, I have about five different tops and three different pairs of leggings and bottoms that I wear with them. And then as far as like dressy clothes, I have two different dresses that I keep in my closet. But I'm not afraid if we have like a special event to go to, like a wedding, to buy something for the occasion or borrow it from someone. And so I don't know if you're finding this, but it seems like I remember when I was growing up, like my mom had like a like one dress and she would wear it to weddings and funerals and that was just like her dressy dress, right? But it seems like now, even with weddings, you never know, is it gonna be a casual wedding? Is it gonna be a dressy wedding? We got invited to like a black tie wedding. I mean, it's kind of hard to keep dressy clothes now to wear from one event to the other. So I find myself that I might buy a dress for one occasion and wear it once, and then I might pass it on to a friend, I might donate it or sell it again if I really don't think that I'm gonna wear it again because, you know, styles change and stuff too. And so if I found something that I thought was like perfect and totally versatile, I would hang on to it. But I don't know that I've really found those pieces and so I only keep these two kind of more casual dresses for now and it's been working out just fine. But here's the criteria for anything in my wardrobe and this is why I can get by with it being so simplified is that everything has to fit. I have to feel good in everything. And so in the past, I had probably, what, 10 times as much clothing, 20, I don't even know, like 20 times as much clothing as that, but I still only had five or six tops that fit or that I would wear. And so again, just because I had lots of clothes didn't mean that I felt like I had a lot to wear. So even though my wardrobe is pretty highly simplified right now, it's all stuff I wear. And so I don't feel limited. I don't feel like I, I don't know that there's ever been a time in the past few years that I felt like I didn't have something to wear or that I wanted to wear. And the fun part is too, is that I still like to add to it, right? I added this sweater just this winter. And so I feel okay adding one or two new tops or even three as the seasons change because I know it's gonna get a lot of use and I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it. And, and so I don't mind doing that at all because overall I am still spending so much less money on my clothing compared to what I used to in the past. And then the other question that usually comes up is do you do a capsule wardrobe? And so I don't, creating a capsule wardrobe just feels kind of stressful to me. I know some people have them and they love them. So if it's a good fit for you and you like that, I think that's awesome, but if not, I think for me, having just a simplified wardrobe functions just the same as having a capsule wardrobe. I feel like I have plenty of versatility. I like that almost all of my pants go with any of my tops. And so I feel like I can dress them up, dress them down, and I have a lot of versatility, even though it's not technically a capsule wardrobe. And so if you're just at the beginning of simplifying your wardrobe, my best recommendation would be to box up everything that doesn't fit, that you don't love, or that you don't feel good in, and leave out just the pieces that you do. Try having your closet so highly simplified that when you open it and you go there in the morning, you only see options for things that you actually wear and feel good in. And I know you might run the risk that you only have like two things or three <laughs> things, but that's okay because then you know, you know for sure where the gaps are compared to like when we had all this clothes and I didn't know what I needed or didn't need. And so if you do that and you're like, but I don't even have enough clothes then, then you feel good going shopping to find those pieces. And when you go shopping, you don't compromise. You only buy things that fit well right now and that you feel good in. And what's so great is that this doesn't have to cost a lot of money. It can be thrown from a thrift store or less expensive stores too have better quality now. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to fill in the gaps, but you are definitely worth it. And you deserve to have clothes that you feel good in so that throughout the day, you don't have to feel self-conscious. You don't have to be worrying about the clothes that you are wearing. And you don't have to think a lot about your clothes. You deserve that. So I hope this helps. I would love to know what other questions you have about clothes or how it's going simplifying your wardrobe, what things are hanging you up. I know if we've spent a lot of money on stuff, it can be really hard to part with it. But I think now is the time. We have better things to be spending our, our energy on than trying to find clothes in the morning or trying to keep them all organized or contained in our dressers and our closets. So you're worth it, even if it means getting rid of stuff that you've spent a lot of money on. So I hope this helps. I'm looking forward to hearing about your experiences down below. A thumbs up is the best compliment that you can give us and we'll look forward to visiting with you again really soon.